Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and today we are continuing our multi-tutorials um, for The Sims 4. As most of you guys know, I've been overseas for 7 weeks and I've just been relaxing and enjoying spending time with my family. So now I'm back, um, as you can hear my equipment, my sound, it sounds better than the previous videos. Uh, but now I'm back and I'm really trying to get back to the two videos a week again. But also I do have to say my energy levels are um, very low because I'm also pregnant. Um, so I'm trying to really do the two videos a week. But there's a chance the videos will be a little bit on the shorter side and not too complex of a mod tutorials. Um, so for today's video we are going to dive into overrides. And what are overrides? Override is basically any in-game interaction or clothing item or object, whatever you want. Anything in-game that you change the code of or change the color of or... Um, yeah, so that's what we are doing today. And there might be like a multiple series, like in the future, might be different override videos but for today mainly we're going to look at something that is in game and that we cannot choose and you might already guess what it is um, because we're here in game already um, with Lana Winter and um, in their new beautiful home that I built um, it's up on the gallery and um, this guy you guys haven't uh, been introduced yet to, but that's Austin Winchester. And apparently they have a love interest, but um, they're both single, I think. For this tutorial, I have given them a baby. Um, this is Caden. Isn't he super cute? And he's our little infant, our test infant basically for today. Because what I want to change, what we are going to override today is this stupid blanket. Yes, I said stupid blanket. Um, I just mean for today's video we're just going to keep it very simple. We're just going to go and change the color because if we look into game, let me get into game. We can see, where are they? Carpets, I think? Blankets, carpets, here. We have these. All these very lovely colors. Let me put it inside the house. Cause, yeah. Um, but we have all of these. And all these different swatches. And some of them are super cute. That I am just thinking, like, why? Why, why do we get this one? Like, I don't like this one, you know, with the... No. So every time you, like, most of you players know, like, you pick your baby up. Or your infant. I keep saying baby, but it, yeah. Pick them up. The blanket disappears. And you put them back down. And then the blanket reappears. And so what I want to do is just change um, this blanket. We're just going to change it to any of the other um, swatches out here. And I also just realized that that swatch is not even available in this set. So I feel like we're also going to add that to this set of swatches. Um, in case someone really, really likes it. I don't know. Um, but we're just going to add this swatch to there. To that set as well and that will be our very small override for today. So let's dive into The Sims 4 Studio. So here we are in The Sims 4 Studio and as you can see I've opened um, two Sims 4 Studios next to each other. You can also work with one um, but I like the overview. Um, as, as always um, don't forget your creator name but we are going to dive into object um, override so I'm gonna click on that and then as we know we have so many so many <laughs> objects in game that we want to change um, but for today we are going to type in we're going to type in infant and I'm going to select this blanket because we know that's that's the blanket and I'm gonna click next and then save it Okay, so here we are, once you have saved this into any folder that you're working in, 
um, it will look like this. So now we're going to do the same thing for the other side and type in infants. But instead of clicking on this one, we're going to click on show debug items. And here it is. So we're going to choose this one and then also um, save it. Okay, so now they are both opened and I would already know that this one, the debug one, I also made sure to name it debug, um, that this one is the one where you put your baby down, that the blanket appears underneath them. And um, then for this one, this one has all these swatches and those are just the cute ones that you can choose to put into your game. So first things first, I'm thinking about adding this swatch into uh, this file first. Um, so let's do that first. We're going to click add swatch over here and then we see after 11 we get a new swatch swatch <laughs> swatch and that's that one then we're going to click on texture like for now it's just basically copied um the first one or the one that you were left on when you um if you had this one open it will i believe copy that one uh, but in my case it has copied this one so i'm gonna go into texture over here and then um, I'm going to go and say export texture. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it blue and pink because those are the colors that are in this um, in this rug. And I'm going to click import over here and say import that one. And there you go. Super simple. I'm going to do the same with the catalog thumbnail. So I'm going to click on export. I'm just leaving it as the same and say yes and I'm going to import because I don't want to keep that file anyways I want to delete it out of my um, folder eventually um, especially if you're going to upload this for other people to download and then next we have the colors so I'm going to copy the hex over here and I'm going to paste it over there and it should change automatically and I'm going to do the same thing on this side and then over here as well and it's changed um, as well so now we have the new um, swatch color in here you can move it um, to move it to any location that you want but I'm just going to leave it as the last one um, so I know okay the last swatch is the new swatch that I have added and then the price should be the same of everything. Um, it won't be this because we have copied it from here. The text, you should just leave it as it is as well. And then um, we're just gonna go into tags. And because now it says it's gray, so we wanna make sure that the tags are or this, the same as the colors as well. Cause as you can see, this one is gray from the one that we copied. Um, but if I click on this one, it will go into blue. So I want to change, um, like unselect the gray and then go for probably pink and blue. Um, so if you filter in game, um, it will now have, uh, like if you will filter only pink items, it will show this item as well. Or uh, blue items, it will show this item. And I feel like we leave everything else as it is. If we're not 100% sure, we can have a look at um, what the other ones are selected as and then go through the swatches and see, oh, they're all similar. So that means that I'm just going to leave the rest as it is. So it's basically only changing the text for the colors. So that is uh, that and that means we are done with adding it um, except make sure to click save always make sure to click save. Okay so now we're gonna go into our debug item and I just want to choose one of these color swatches which if you are interested by the way you could also go into textures say export Go into any photo editing software and just create your whole own new swatch. Um, but because I'm not doing that, um, I'm just going to choose one of the ones that are already in game. Okay, so now I just got to go through and see which one I like and add that into over here. Basically doing the same thing what we just did before. Um, 
really like this one with the mountains and the moon. I think it's really cute. So again, we're going to go into texture. I'm going to say export. I'm just going to call it moon for now. <laughs> say import over here. Import that one. And then we could also... Um, did I just click? I just clicked import, didn't I? That's all right. If you make a mistake like that uh, and you've saved before, <laughs> you know that it'll be all right. Um, so yeah, we're just going to click export. Yes. And then I'm going to go and say import over here. And then we also want to change the swatches, even though it's, it's not even going to be visible like any of this stuff. Um, but I just like to do it just because... It makes everything a little bit more organized like otherwise I just I just go crazy okay um, yeah so we also want to make sure that we do not add any new swatches to this uh, because there's only one swatch available and it's a debug item so we just leave it as it is um, so yeah we're gonna save that as well and it should be it so let's go into game and see if it worked so here we are back into game and the moment I opened the game and it was loaded the rock has already changed um, so I'm just going to say pick up Kaden as you can see it's the one with the mountains and the moon and I'm going to put Kaden down and again, the same rug appears. So yeah, that's basically how simple it is to change certain swatch for items uh, that you cannot change in game um, while playing in the game. So yeah, definitely I love doing this. I did the same for the infant pillow. Um, I made it green because I did not like the blue one. Uh, yeah. So yeah, okay, let's go and have a look at this rug and see if our new swatch is added. And indeed, here we have our new swatch. Uh, so yeah, it works perfectly. And this rug, I believe, has the same functions as the other one. It's just, um, it doesn't just appear when you put your baby down on the ground. So that's why I really like changing this. I'm gonna... Honestly, I'm gonna keep it with this blue and you know, I really love it. Just gonna keep it in game. <laughs> but yes, thank you for watching. If anything was unclear, please let me know in the comments down below or join my Discord. Um, everything is linked in the description. Uh, so yes, and if you have any suggestions about anything, please let me know. And like I mentioned before, I'm taking things a little bit slow. Um, energy level wise so I'm not doing a extreme mod tutorials anytime very soon with extreme I just mean like lots of coding and such so I'm just gonna keep it small I keep it relaxed and just um, yeah so definitely for those who have been following along to for the careers I will be continuing those uh, once I'm Getting back into my normal routine. I've only been home for a week now, so I'm still getting back into it. Uh, yeah, so I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye!